phases. They come and go, just like what you're experiencing right now. Not too long ago, I had a time in which I was experiencing anxiety, self-doubt, and fear for the future. However, recently, and especially this past year, I've noticed this one thing you should be doing that obliterates it, giving you peace and a happier, more fulfilling life. So the one thing is... In case you haven't guessed it, it's socializing. A 75-year-old study by Grant and Gluick has suggested that relationships, socializing, lead to a happier and healthier life. Speaking from personal experience, I've discovered that when you're socializing with your friends, you feel fulfilled and that life has a purpose without you having to look for it or try. You still may just feel fulfilled and happy in the moment. Another thing I notice is that when you're socializing, you can't be in your own head. It's an escape. You have to get out. You're thinking of negative stuff, thinking of bad thoughts or emotions, too bad. You're forced to be with your friends and be in the moment. So I try looking for biological or evolutionary reasons as to why we're happier when we're socialized because I'm a sciencey guy. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find anything. So if you do find something or know of anything, please leave a comment below. Um, however, this is my best take on it. Um, I believe that when we socialize, we're happy because back in the day, when we were in larger tribes and closely connected to people that we trust, uh, we generally feel safer. Um, safer from uh, imminent death, uh, saber-toothed tigers, and petty worries, mostly. The second thing that um, I believe is that when you socialize with people, it adds more meaning to life in terms of exchanging viewpoints, opinions, sharing experiences with other people, which is very important, and giving pointers and advice. And lastly, I've observed that with one impactful person, you can do good things, but in larger groups, you can do much greater things. Action steps. What I want you to do now is think of one friend, or one relative, or even one group that you haven't seen in a while, maybe a few weeks, maybe a couple months, and hit them up. Say, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Or what are you doing two weeks from now on this day? And see if you can go out and hang out. It will be really good for you. If that's too much for you, um, what I want you to do is find that one friend, or one relative, or one group again, and just text them. You know, if you're still kind of in touch, reach out to them and say, hey, um, it's been a while, or hey, I just randomly thought of you and wanted to see how you're doing. Usually they'll text you back and from there you can um, talk each other out and probably hang out from that point. As a bonus, like I mentioned in my last video, something else that cures your anxieties or worries is exercise. Please do it, it helps you so much. If you run for like two or three miles or work out for 15 to 30 minutes and let yourself get into the zone, that usually obliterates all your worries and fears. It makes you feel really happy and carefree for at least a few hours and goes into the next day. On a closing note, I want to mention that life is too short to not spend it with the people that you care about. Please take the time to reach out to that family member or friend that you haven't seen in a while. Say, hey, what's up? And set up a time to meet up or hang out. Please leave a comment below explaining what you'll be doing this weekend or in the future to improve your social lives. Thanks for watching. Yeah.